Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the Bricks PLC online editing and debug mode. And these features allow you, uh, when you're in the field, to actually troubleshoot and modify the program while the uh, program is still running. So it can be very dangerous, so you have to really know um, what you want to do with the program itself. So last time we looked at monitoring and testing the program with our start stop jog circuit today we're just going to add to that or modify that uh, circuit itself so the first thing we'll do is we'll look at editing so if we call up the um, edit mode currently right now we are online and the unit is running our controller itself is in uh, terminal mode so we will call up online editing right here the symbol we hit it and our editing instructions come up and now we can modify the program that we're looking at and what we'll do is we will uh, change our our work bit here from Y15 we'll change that to uh, Y100 and you'll notice the yellow bar here indicating that we haven't accepted the program yet we'll also change line number two and what we'll do is change that again to uh, Y100. So we just change that new address. Also what we'll want to do is um, we will add a new line and we'll add a new contact and we'll call this um, ST4 uh, which is our, our one second clock pulse and what we'll do that is go to that to go to the second input y1 with that so get out and y1 so that is our program you can see that um, we have the yellow line all the way down so we'll hit, first of all accept that and when we accept it you'll now have a blue and green line one representing that the PLC is different than what's um, in our program right here, which it is, we know that. And the other represents that we haven't saved the program yet. So let's go ahead and we'll save that program. Once we save it, our green line's gone, and now we're left with the blue line. And the blue line represents that our programs aren't the same. So let's write the information into the PLC, so um, do the online edit. And we are presented with a um, an option here we can download a run mode runtime edit which is exactly what we want to do or we can actually switch to program mode download the project so we're going to leave it into the run mode and we will hit ok so currently right now it's running and it's actually programming it and you'll see um, immediately the output that we programmed to flash every one second is now flashing so online editing, very straightforward, very simple, and we can do multiple things at one time. The next thing we want to do, we'll just take that out of edit mode, and what we'll do is look at the debug mode, or the debug view mode. We can get it by either hitting this icon top of the screen, or we can go to the debug, and you can go debug view. What it will do is actually pop up a, um, a little menu here and on the menu what you'll see is uh, we have a special debug mode and we'll enable it here so our debug is enabled at the bottom and it's currently right now we pause it okay so we can scan so right now our, our outputs functioning normal when we hit pause we actually hold our scan and the status of the outputs and the inputs are no longer being updated and then what we can do is we can actually scan for a single scan. So you can see during that single scan depends on um, my, clock, my clock bit flag whether or not my output is actually going to trigger or not. If I wait till I see it on, then it will turn it on. If I leave it off when it's off, it'll turn off. So if we go to test our program, right now we have it paused. We'll uh, force the start, we'll turn that on, and we'll, we'll force our on here as well. 
we'll turn it on. And what we'll do is we will scan it for one single scan. And sure enough, what happens is our output now comes on. If I um, unforce this element, and we'll unforce this one. Okay. Okay, so we have both elements unforced. Our output's still on because remember we've actually paused the scan time itself. And we'll hit the single scan, the output will then turn off. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Our output turned off and our because our one second pulse was on, it was still on. If we want to scan for a certain number, um, we'll say 100 scans, we can actually then hit end scans, and we actually scan for 100 scans, and then that's it. So we hit turn on scan again, and we can still see the, uh, the operation of that. To turn off the debug, we just hit the debug, and then we can hit the X up here to actually exit the debug view mode. So debug is very useful in determining a scan by scan basis of what can actually happen within your controller. Okay. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to, tell, to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.